What's going on YouTube? Adam here and in this video I will be demonstrating how to put music from your Windows computer to your iPhone without iTunes. Now many of you have probably seen my video earlier and there's a lot of things that many of you have questions about so I hope to get to those in this video. So let's jump right into this. Now I'm going to start all the way from the beginning and download the program so you guys know how to do it from the beginning. So open up a red web browser, <laughs> type in copy trans and it should show up on Google here. Okay, go ahead and hit that and then we want to hit download right here. Go ahead and hit download right here again and as you can see this stuff should pop up and we should start to get a download automatically down here at the bottom. Now once this is done, which should take pretty short, it's only five megabytes, um, we will click on that and it should open up here momentarily. Um, I'm not sure what's taking so long. I will cut to when it opens and it should open up any moment now. Here we go. Just hit run. And then as you can see, I just click that and hit install. Then as you can see, it installed a shortcut and it wants us to test our connection. Go ahead and hit OK. The connection successful. Awesome. Then this sh should pop up and it should bring up a bunch of stuff. We're going to use CopyTrans Manager, which is free. So double double click that and it should install that. Um, that's what this bar is happening down there at the bottom. So once this happens, let's see should open up the application here shortly there we go so we could go ahead and hit start or we're just gonna go ahead and exit out of this this is your main uh, UI and now let me plug in my iPhone 6 so I can give you guys an accurate representation of what's happening um, as you can see it just put it in so hopefully everything goes well and we'll be all set as you can see, there you go. So now I have, you can see all the songs on my iPhone and uh, you can scroll through them all with this. Um, basically the main layout is all your songs are here. You got your playlists over here, categories. Um, not really sure what other categories would be in there besides music. You can search through the genres, um, artists and albums, which is super convenient. Now just to demonstrate to you guys what I got going on here, um, I'm going to add two songs to the iPhone um, and I have them right here on the desktop. Um, it's uh, I Don't Mind by Usher and No Type. So basically how we're going to do this is we're going to go ahead and hit add right here. I'm going to go to our desktop here and we're going to go find those two songs which are right here. Here's I Don't Mind. And then if you want to do more than one, you should just be able to hold shift and do it. If that doesn't work, hold control. And as you can see, it highlights both of these. Go ahead and hit add. And as you can see, it added both of them. I got Usher, I don't mind down here and no type right here. Now also, as you can see, there isn't a picture or any information like that. So I'm going to add some because I want that to show up when I have it on my iPhone which I think is very important so I'm gonna go and hit no type and I'm gonna go to images and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this image and then we're gonna go into here go edit and then we're gonna go over here to edit artwork oh so it's gonna want me to save it to the desktop so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save image and I'll just save it straight to the desktop, which is no problem. Edit artwork, and then we're gonna go to the desktop here and we're gonna go ahead and hit open. And now as you can see, it opens up, which is super easy. And then we can also edit the artist here. Um, and I'm going to put in Ray Strimmerd, if that's pronounced correctly. And you can add that other stuff if you want. I'm just going to write single. And that's basically good enough for me. Um, you can add a bunch of other stuff here if you want. Go ahead and hit apply. And as you can see, it shows up like that. You can rate it. And it'll also give you information about playing time, how long the song is. So I'm going to do that. The same thing for this. Um, 
and type that in. So now once we've done everything, all we have to do is hit update and this will sync it with the iPhone. As you can see, it says saving library, please be patient. Once that happens, it should sync up and do everything for you. Now, as you can see, update is complete. So then now we have to go over to the iPhone and make sure the songs are on there, which I am going to check right now. I know it's off camera, um, but I will check for you and I'll put a little b-roll in there showing that it is on my iPhone so let me make sure I've got it on here let's see here I'm looking through it right now and I actually do have the song on here as you can see you heard it right there in the background there's the no type song and let's see I don't mind let me get that one up real quick and I'll play that real quick there you go so there you guys have it it does work I know you may be having problems with it it's you just gotta try it and hopefully it'll work for you I am running iOS 8.1.2 I think I am jailbroken but it has nothing to do with this um, it's nothing you don't have to be jailbroken or anything for this to work which is super nice um, Definitely recommend this if you hate iTunes because iTunes can be a little annoying and hard to understand. Um, so there you go. Here's a couple other features to mention. Like hypothetically, I wanted to delete this. You could delete track from iOS. Then once you do that, you have to go ahead and hit update. So let me see if there's a song on here I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Like, let's see, like this song. I, I'm over this song. Go ahead and hit delete yes I would like to delete it go ahead and hit update and it should no longer be on your phone after this is done updating as you can see updates complete and it's done now as you can also see there's a free 37 gigabytes left free after sync 36.98 so I guess it rounds up a little bit um, I do have the 64 gigabyte iPhone 6 so I guess I only get a total of 56 so 8 gigs towards iOS 8 which is kind of ridiculous but that's beside the point and uh, you guys can add playlists here you can check out playlists you can add songs to the playlist which is super convenient um, definitely recommend looking around this it's hard for me to show you everything in such a short video but definitely recommend checking this out thanks for watching guys please subscribe I hope this helped you out a bunch and I'll see you guys in the next one